What is up, you guys? Today, we are going to go over all of the new features within the FL Studio 21 browser in depth. The new FL Studio 21 browser is jam-packed with some really cool search functions as well as tagging functions. So without further ado, please like and subscribe and let's get started. First things first, if we go up here to tools, we have the browser find option. Uh, it's kind of a rebrand from FL Studio 20, where it is browser smart find. Now in FL Studio 20, there was a strict find, a smart find, and a folder search. And all of that has been jam packed into this bottom section down here. If you wanna do a strict find, you put something in quotations and it'll search exactly that. If you want to do a smart find, you can just type in what you're searching for. And if you wanna search within a folder, you can click search in selected folder. So let me remove this. I will choose a folder and I can search within that folder by highlighting this option here. And as you can see, there's nothing in the folder, but outside the folder, plenty. Now, the really cool thing here is I'll go to drums, search clap. We have this tags option. This tags option is actually really sweet. So we have a few different options here. We have a type option. So I can say, I just want to see samples with the word clap, okay? Or we can search MIDI. We can also search presets. We can search project templates. So let me get rid of MIDI and I'll search for one of my templates, YouTube template. We've also got scores. Scores is going to be the same thing as MIDI, except it's a .fsc instead of a .mid. Any of these that we click, we'll get a visual representation of them below, which is pretty cool. We can also search for images and envelopes, especially if you're someone who likes to export project bones and keep them to search through later. This is really cool for sorting through the different things that you have saved in different locations throughout your browser. We can also, if I go clap, samples, favorite, different samples. And what this is going to do is I can actually choose the star here, which is our favorites. And it only return to me anything that I have favorited. So I can search clap favorites. We have other filters here as well. And we can actually right click and add a tag. So if I wanted this to be clap, I can click enter. And now we have this clap option. If I edit tags, you'll see the star plus clap. And it's just separated by a comma. So if I really wanted to, I could do comma VST comma plugin. And now this is part of VST and plugin, as well as clap and favorite. And if we edit tags, you'll just see everything comma separated. I can remove the tags with my edit. And when you add tags, it'll just add a comma to the end of whatever tags are already there. And then you can add as many as you want. Now, our difference between any and all is if you'll notice, I only set one clap to actually have the clap filter. If I click any, it'll bring back anything that has one of these tags. If I have all, it has to bring back only stuff that has all of these tags. So this is something to be wary of that you can switch back and forth when searching. You can now select multiple samples in the browser by clicking shift and going to where you wanna to go to select everything or hitting control and clicking to add individuals. Now, if I go to a longer option here, you can see we get this live playback. Now, I can left click this, which plays it from the beginning, or I can right click it and tell it to play from somewhere specifically. You can also do this by shift clicking. We also have a global sample preview volume. And when we change this, even as we switch, it'll stay, which is awesome because if you're gain staging, gain staging your projects and you're at negative 18 decibels about an average for your project and you have someone who you got samples from and they have everything with no headroom, it's just as close to zero as possible. Previewing samples like that is just lame. So now you can actually turn this down so you can avoid blowing your ears out while previewing samples if your whole project is gain staged at a lower volume, which is awesome. Uh, we can also see the sample rate 
that the sample in question is at. So we got this one at 44.1 and it'll tell you, you know, is it 32 bit or 16, as well as if it's stereo or mono. So this information becomes a lot more in-depth and intuitive as you're working within FL Studio's new browser, which is awesome. Now, something else cool about here is if you have slices saved in a wait file or you have loop points, uh, you will actually see those in this preview box here. Now, if we click this drop down, we have four new options here, which are new options for search. We can check show parent folders and search results, which is going to show all of the parent folders for all the audio we find back in the searches. We can put the search box on top instead of having it on bottom. And then we have type to filter, which is supposed to start filtering as you type. But honestly, with that on and off, I don't really notice much of a difference when I'm typing and filters are coming back. And then we also have enable indexing. And when enable indexing is off, it's going to limit your search to the folder that you are in. Uh, when it is on, it also builds a, an index to make future searches quicker so that I can pull and reference things at a quicker pace uh, rather than having to search. So as it searches, it like builds that index for your search terms. So cool option to keep on. Now, if we go back to our samples, if we right click, we have a couple new options here that weren't in FL Studio 20. And that is the open parent folder and locate file. Open parent folder is going to open the folder that the file is in, in Windows or whatever operating system you're using. And locate file will actually select that specific file in that folder when that folder is opened. So open parent folder, not selected, locate, and it's selected. If we look at our tabs at the top here, we have some new tab options. I can right click these and you will see we get a drop down, which you could not right click them in FL Studio 20. We have rename, color, and icon, which is cool. We can change the color, rename it, uh, make it stand out, make it whatever we want it to be. Okay. We can clone a tab. We can zoom, which is going to change the size. And these are all independent of each other. So as I switch through, you'll notice the zoom is different, which is super awesome. If we actually right click one of these other ones, we'll notice a hide option. This actually is not available on the all, uh, but that'll hide this tab specifically. We can right click, go to show hidden, and we can go show all the hidden tabs. And that brought it back. Let me clone a tab really quick now that we have it cloned. If I right click, we can delete. We see a delete option. Uh, we also have a move left and move right option, which we can do with any of these after we have clicked and selected it. Of course, besides the all tab, we have show only one folder content, and that's going to make it so that only one folder can be open at a time. So when I open another one, it closes the old one. Uh, if you don't want that, make sure it's off. And now, as you can see, we can open as many folders as we want. We have show folder icons. If I turn that off, you'll see it's just the words. Show images, which shows the plugin database plugin icons, as we'll see here. If I turn that off, no images. If I turn it on, these images come back. And we also have show preview. If I come back and I search for clap, and I click it, if I take that away, we no longer get that preview window right here. Um, we also have file extensions. I'll tell you if it's a dot .wave, dot .whatever. See, dot .wave on these ones. Show unknown file types, which will show things that FL Studio doesn't recognize. We also have remember tab size, which honestly, I'm not 100% sure what this even does. We have the frozen option, and it's supposed to affect something from change. So if we switch back, you can see I can do all this changing. And if I come back, it's going to be exactly what it was because I froze it as such. Now that I undid the frozen, I'm going to go ahead and open it up like this. Now let's freeze it. Now when I come back, it'll be like this. And so that's a really cool way for you to set one of these up to be something you want. For example, like all claps or drum kit sounds. Have your drum folders open, right click, freeze it every time you go to it. 
That's how it'll be open. Now, our sort by will sort the files by either their name, the type. So like, is it a wave, MIDI, things like that, or the date. And then we have this group option, which is quite confusing in the way it's described in the FL Studio user manual. Basically, it means it's going to sort things the way that they told FL Studio to sort it. I would leave this on instead of having it off. And if you want, you can turn it off, play with it. But I don't have a good explanation for you. We also have view layout options. Standard is going to be in line like this, our usual. Uh, you can also change it to tree, which means any folder that's open, we're going to see the samples on the right side. So folders on the left, samples on the right with a little separator here. We also can go view samples. And that's going to do the same thing, but now we're going to get these sample previews of the waveforms, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And now that we're done with the tab options, I want to introduce you to a special tab that is actually really cool. And that is the library tab. So the library tab is going to give you the FL Studio library of samples and products you can use with these different plugins. You can switch to each plugin and you get a list here. And it lets you preview these live in FL Studio without having to actually leave FL Studio to go check it out or purchase it or download. And so this includes free and paid content and will automatically be added to the associated plugin. And that right there is the new search, tag, tab, and filtering options that are available in the FL Studio 21 browser that we did not see in FL Studio 20. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. It's Warren with Scale Audio and adios. Mm -hmm.